Hi everyone, Asif Hossein here from Toronto FC's preseason facility in Orlando, Florida, where the Reds trained on Friday ahead of Saturday's Walt Disney World Pro Soccer Classic opener against Orlando City SC. We caught up with Disney play-by-play -play man Jonathan Yardley to fill us in on Orlando, what to expect from their fans, a man named Rooney, and some of the more dangerous players on the squad. Second year for Orlando City, we saw them here in the Pro Soccer Classic last year, and they were a tough team to break down. They sat behind the ball a lot of the game. I think they got more confident once they, once they got into their league season, finished first in their division, won the USL Pro Championship last year in a shootout, so they're used to success. They're going to be pretty confident, and they should have some rowdy fans here, too. Everybody's kind of curious to see. He didn't get playing time with the New York Red Bulls last year, of course, Wayne Rooney's younger brother. Philadelphia, or beg your pardon, Orlando signed him, gave him the number 10 shirt, threw him out there against Philadelphia. He got a penalty kick uh, and the chance to take it and actually saw it saved. So we don't know what we're going to see from John Rooney, but he's still young. He doesn't turn 21 until later this year. So uh, a lot of potential for him, and Orlando's banking on that paying off this year. You know, at the back, uh, Orlando's very solid. Miguel Gallardo was goalkeeper of the year last year. Rob Valentino was defender of the year at center back for Orlando. And then up front, Maxwell Griffin, who saw a little bit of time with San Jose, and Jamie Watson uh, do most of the scoring for Orlando. So we'll see what kind of lineup they throw out. They're trying out guys, too. Their season doesn't start until April, but certainly a dangerous team going up against these MLS squads this weekend. We also caught up with Toronto FC head coach Aaron Vinter, who talked about how his squad has improved so far, as well what he makes of playing non-MLS opponents here at Disney. Where do you think your team is better this year than a year ago? I think in everything. I think uh, if you see the, the spirit in the locker room, it's great. If you see the, the place where we uh, signed and we brought in on those pieces where we were missing, that's also uh, very good. Uh, f first of all, last year we had some uh, difficulties, a lot of difficulties in the, in the back line and uh, I think that uh, we brought some uh, good players in uh, to resolve those problems. How do you look at a tournament like this uh, with preparation for CONCACAF as far as will you try to play guys you know, 70 up to 90 minutes or will you be kind of splitting two squads the way a lot of teams do in preseason? Now, um, to be here is just great because uh, if you see the facilities, the circumstances where you're training and uh, where, you're, where you're staying, it's great. Um, we are now, this is our uh, fifth, almost fifth week, or fourth week, and until that moment we had only two friendly games in, uh, in the preseason. Yeah, it's, just, it's always nice to play a lot of games to prepare yourself for, uh, uh, for uh, the CONCACAF game but also prepare yourself to be ready for the season. And uh, yeah, uh, the most of the guys have played 45 minutes and now you want to give them at least an hour or more uh, to get the feeling that they are ready. And uh, you're playing uh, at least uh, another three, four games and everybody at the end uh, play the same amount of minutes. What is it? Uh, is it a good thing or for you that you're playing two teams not in MLS in your group? Uh, just want to have it happen, first of all. Yeah, you know, uh, I, uh, first of all, I don't like it, but okay. Uh, now we're going to play at least uh, one in the group stage against Dallas and uh, maybe against another one in the other group. But uh, I prefer more to, uh, to play uh, friendly games against, uh, yeah, first of all, against uh, less strong opponents and then a certain moment against strong opponents from uh, another league, another uh, country. And uh, because yeah, we are playing a lot of games against uh, the same opponent in, uh, in, uh, in the league. Saturday will also mark the first time Toronto FC supporters will have a chance to watch many of the new players added in the offseason. You can watch it at torontofc.ca at 6 p.m. Eastern Time.